Four weeks ago, Omar Ali left Europe on a boat just like this one. Thirteen days at sea with 250 people on board, he tells us. Some didn't make it. Unlike so many before him, though, Omar didn't travel from Libya, but from Egypt. When we arrived in Egypt, we were surrounded only by people traffickers who wanted to get our money from us. When we were ready to board the boat, they disappeared, and we didn't see anyone else. We just got on the boat, and no one stopped us. Others are following him. Many of those rescued from the waters of the Mediterranean in recent days took the same route. Most go straight to the mainland, where they are now compelled to register for asylum. Leaving Lampedusa still littered with memories of last summer's chaos, but unusually quiet. The island's reception centre sees a steady but orderly flow. In the harbour, high-speed rescue boats remain on standby. Captain Paolo Monaco says there's spare capacity. In normal times, we have two boats more than two at sea. If there is an emergency, we can go out with full crew using all four boats. But if a new route is opening, many fear the calm will not last. Some worry Cairo is intentionally widening an already vast southern gateway to Europe. Rescue and processing efforts appear to have become more manageable in recent weeks, but islanders know only too well how quickly that order can unwind. Guy Henderson, CCTV on the Italian island of Lampedusa.